Welcome to your Catholic Drive Time, keeping you informed and inspired. We love God, we ought to be able to talk about Him. Getting you started on your day. With the latest in breaking news and information from the Vatican to the White House and everything in between. It's serious, it's fun, it's your Catholic Drive Joining Time. Joining us right now via Zoom chat, it's Trish Short. She is best known for uh, singing uh, the Chaplet of Divine Mercy uh, every day. We play it here across the Guadalupe Radio Network on the radio, as well as EW10 plays it, too. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, version of the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and uh, Trish Short is here to celebrate the feast day of Corpus Christi. Good morning to you, Trish. Happy feast of Corpus Christi. Yeah, praise be to it's God. awesome to be on, you know. Thank Amen. you. Amen. It is a it is a great day. You know, I, I was thinking this morning about one of my favorites, uh, or probably my favorite of all early church fathers, Ignatius of Antioch. Um, in one ten A.D., how he witnessed to uh, what we believe as Catholics today about the Holy Eucharist, and this is like yes. this is you can't. It's hard to get much earlier, and besides the the Bible itself, uh, yes. you know, it's so powerful and profound. And he talks in his letter to the Samaritans. Take note of those who hold heterodox opinions on the grace of Jesus Christ, which has come to us, and see how contrary their opinions are to the mind of God. They abstain from the Eucharist and from prayer because they do not confess that the Eucharist is the flesh of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Uh, that is 110 AD in his letter to the Samaritans. Isn't that profound? Profound, powerful. Now you wrote it. You just didn't say it better, right? I know, I mean, right? It's, that's why I read it because it's just so good. But uh, mm-hmm. now you are you have just uh, published uh, a brand new song uh, out mm-hmm. about uh, the the bread, the the Holy Eucharist, the bread of life, mm-hmm. and you're going to premiere. Has it been premiered, or are you premiering it right now? Well, we sort of did a soft premiere on it on the feast of Saint Joseph, but. My husband, uh, we have a small um, recording studio, and we also do uh, film and video, that kind of thing. And he travels a lot, so he's really my in-house guy. And uh, wonderful. So we really haven't um, released it on uh, Divine Mercy and Song channel, which is my biggest channel. Uh, We're starting a smaller one um, just for some vlogs and things like that going into the future. But, you know, I, in my work, I sort, sort of stop, start, stop, start, because my husband is my engineer, and he's often on the road, you know, um, working. So uh, today is really it. You know, I thought, what, what a better way to um, get this song out there other than on the Feast of Corpus Christi. It's, um, as, a, as a revert, it's a real important song to me. And... Um, was I actually asked the Lord for it. And also um, the first scratch track was done in the JP2 house up at the um, Marians of the Immaculate Conception in Stockbridge when wow. we were there uh, a Mercy Sunday weekend to do the chaplet. You know, I prayed for a song coming back to the church so late, um, what, 40 years of age after being away from the church for 20 some years, Mm. ending up in a born again Pentecostal church. Um, I fell in love with the word of God there and fell in love with Jesus. And the more I kept doing scripture study, um, because I was a youth director there and teaching Bible study, I was going, wait a minute, this is a Catholic book. (laughs) And I'm seeing all this catechesis, you know, being confirmed, all these Catholic uh, doctrines and dogmas, you know, just I'm seeing them in the scripture and I'm going, uh oh, you know. And so it sort of came a point where, as a post abortive mom, tragically, you know, that knock at the door came um, and it was like, well, what about those two abortions? And I knew I needed confession. I, I, I was. And I knew I was starving for the Eucharist because I, of course, I was raised Catholic. And uh, once I came back, there was no turning back. Many profound and very grace-filled events took place to um, confirm he is who he is. Um, He is the true presence. He, um, He called me from the tabernacle. And I had no other Catholics in my life at the time. So... The Lord had to do something to really shake me up. And uh, the the true presence became um, 
just everything to me. And I, I, I begged the Lord one day for a song that would, um, if even a Protestant would hear it, you know, they can't deny scripture. They can't deny the words in John. They can't deny the bread of life discourse. It's just not necessarily spoken often in a, a Protestant or born again church. Um, the interpretation is different. So I asked the Lord for the song and he, he took me to the bread of life discourse. And that's how the song came together is really a sinner crying out, starving for the bread of life. That's that's how it began. Uh, it was first laid down, like I said. At Hold that thought. Audience. Sorry, Trish, to cut you off. But we're up sure. against a hard break. We're going to go to break. We're going to come back and we're going to play for you this brand new song out by Trish Short in honor of the feast day of Corpus Christi. I am the bread is the title. And on the other side of this break, you'll get to hear and see it if you're watching on live video. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Praise be to God in all things. Thank you uh, for uh, sharing that with us. Trish Short is our guest. The song is I Am the Bread, and uh, it's the official music video we played on the live video stream. And, of course, you heard the audio across the Guadalupe Radio Network and the Station of the Cross. That's a beautiful song, Trish. Thank you so much. From the depths of my heart, you know, I I pray that um, it can help to call, you know, Catholics who were sacramented and left the church back to the church, back to the sacraments how desperately we need them right now. Jesus is waiting for them, you know, to make a good confession, to receive the bread of life. Like, don't you love the place in the diary of St. Faustina where Jesus tells her that her strength would come from frequent communions. And that is our strength. Amen. 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 I want to ask you, uh, it, it was very beautifully filmed too, by the way, um, now, I, I, well, looking at the, the first half, let's say the first half of that video, uh, for the sake of the radio audience, I should probably describe this. I sometimes forget. So in the video itself, and we'll link, you can go to YouTube, type in Trish Short, uh, you know, a Divine Mercy. You'll find, you'll find her channel, you'll find her song, and we'll, of course, link to it on uh, our social feeds as well. However, in the video, for, the first half is a church that's empty, a church that looks to me, it looked abandoned to me, like it was a deconsecrated church. And I felt, yes. and it was darker, or a little, not really darker, but... Like a, a little bit more uh, um, somber, I guess, would be a good way to describe the yes. scene. Yes. And, you know, the, there's the empty sanctuary space. The altar's gone. Things are missing. Right. It doesn't feel quite yes. right. And then, of yes. course, the second half, you're in a different church, candlelight, warm, inviting, beautiful. And then there's the priest holding up the consecrated host and adoring our Lord. It's a completely yes. different scene in that. Uh, where was the first half filmed? The first half, the, we um, worked with spirit Jews who did uh, the veil removed, and um, we shot it all in Chicago. We shot in a, a, a former Catholic church, was the abandoned church. Wow. And I wanted, because the, the words are, I give my life, I give my love, but the offering is not enough, you know, to, to mend my heart, to save my wretched soul mm. take me break me bread of life um god of love everlasting life cup of love everlasting life so that was really me you know uh that signified um a sinner who um f had left the church and came running back as a, as a sinner and like that abandoned church stripped of the altar you know i was not receiving the sacraments and i and i knew it and it came to the point where it, I was a sinner crying out for the bread of life. I knew there was more. I knew I needed confession. I knew I needed the sacraments. That's what brought me back to the Catholic Church. So the abandoned church stripped of his altar. That's what it signifies. A sinner crying out to the only thing that can help. Him, the only one who can help. Who is the bread of life. Um, and then, of course, in the crescendo, when, when we go to Jesus's words in the bread of life discourse, is, is when I wanted the reveal of the priest, because that that's everything, you know, and to to be away from the church as long as I was, I can tell you the first confession, the first Eucharist that I took um, after coming back in was nothing short of heaven coming down and seeing the supernatural. It's sort of like the rich man who has everything and then has nothing, you know, when I came back, the holiness was palpable. The consecration was palpable. The difference was palpable. The, the absolution uh, confessing to abortions was nothing short of miraculous, nothing short of a visitation from God, the feeling the release of the evil that had me bound. Um, the bread of life taking the Eucharist, it just there's a joy, you know, after you've been starving for so long. Uh, that creates such a change. It breaks my heart to think of, of so many people who are sacramenting, don't understand the church or the sacraments and are not going. And there's so much misery in the world and he's waiting there for them. So that was really the genesis and reason for this song um, yeah. is we're hungry. We need the Lord. Amen. The song is called I Am the Bread uh, by Trish Short. Uh, now, 
the YouTube channel. So you have two YouTube channels. One right. is the Divine Mer the Divine Mercy and Song. Uh, that's a pretty well known channel. And then the second one is brand new that you are actually going to be releasing this video on. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. It'll be released. This will be released both on the bigger channel uh, and to start get, getting people over to the Trish Short channel on YouTube where I'm going to be doing vlogs and things of that nature, uh, releasing other music, that kind of thing. We've really pretty much kept Divine Mercy and song reserved for all the Divine Mercy projects that I did in, in cooperation with the Marians, the English, the Spanish, the children's, um, they were all produced by us and um, over a seven year period. And so I'm kind of keeping it that, even though we do have some Michael Bethay there, 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 there's a new channel that I'm launching both. Wonderful. On the Wonderful. Divine Mercy and Song and on Trish Short. And um, the track, they'll, there'll be a link to the track um, under this video on iTunes. And um, I thank everybody for their support. And, and I pray they use this as a witness to people who don't believe in the true presence. I've had Catholics um, since we did a soft launch, you know, private message me and say, I'm going back to the Eucharist. I'm going back to church. Amen. You know? um, so that's the whole idea is he, Jesus is waiting. And uh, this is just, um, I guess, an ordinary average sinner's cry to the Eucharist and, and uh, to Christ's words, his promise to us that, that he, that he will raise us on the last day. He is, he is the bread of life. I, I pray that more people enter into the true presence. And as we see like Carlo Acutis, and we see all these, these great films coming out on the true presence now, how important, you know, um, you know, one last thought. I once had dinner with, I'm sure you're familiar with Joseph Torilla, a former Soviet dissident. He is no longer with us, but um, you know, when when the Soviet Union uh, and he lived there when Catholicism was illegal, they all went underground. And I mean, he's in and out of the gulag and they they couldn't just get the sacrament. They couldn't just take communion. They had to meet underground. And so I also people should know, mm. even looking at covid, how do you know this? We're always going to be available. Right. Yeah. It's always going to be there for you. Don't run, take run, it for run granted. Back to the Lord. Well, we are out of time. Trish Short has been our guest. The song is I Am the Bread. Check it out on her YouTube channel and also on the Divine Mercy and Song channel as well. Trish Short, thank you for your time today. Thank you for the beautiful song. Thank you so much, Joe. It was an honor. God bless you and God love you. Have a great day. That is going to do it for hour number one of Catholic Drive Time. Uh, if you can join us in the second hour, we would love to have you. We're going to have a great time giving away prizes this week in our Fear and Trembling Game Show. And you could win. GRNonline.com forward slash CDT for the details. Thank you for joining us on Your Catholic Drive Time, where it is our pleasure to keep you informed and inspired. Join us Monday through Friday at the same time, right here on your favorite Catholic radio station. Don't forget to connect with us. Just go to facebook.com forward slash Catholic Drive Time. Again, that's facebook.com forward slash Catholic Drive Time. Be sure to share more than just us today. Share Jesus with everyone you meet. Bye now, and God love you.